Let's create a shared directory between the host machine, Windows 10, and Kelly Linux. Ever since the 2021 distribution of Kelly Linux, the steps for creating the shared directory are a little bit challenging. And so uh, I thought I'd make a, uh, a short video to go through the steps painlessly and uh, efficiently. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the host machine and the Kelly Linux are all actually on the same network. And uh, if you're hosting this as a virtual machine, then that's already done. Uh, otherwise, uh, you will need to double check your IP addresses in Kelly Linux and in uh, Windows to make sure that they are actually on the same network. So the easiest way to do that is I'm going to open up Windows and go to IP config. And um, in my case, I'm using the um, Ethernet uh, 6. And so here's what we're looking for is you're looking for your IP address and you're, you're looking for these first three octets right here. So 192.168.1. And so uh, we can do that. And at the same time, let's move that off to the side and open up our console for Kelly Linux. And in the Kelly Linux, we can uh, go ahead and do uh, if config, which is the uh, command for, uh, for Kelly. And you can see right here um, on the INET, it's 192.168.1. If we pull these over, again, the 192.168.1, 192.168.1, they're on the same network, we're good to go. Okay, which of course was the case because I'm hosting this on the actual machine. All right, so uh, having said that, the uh, next thing that we're gonna need to do is we're going to actually uh, configure uh, Kelly Linux um, for that shared directory. And the, the first thing that needs to be done after you verified your IP address is we need to get out of the Kelly uh, user and we need to create our root directory. And that's really, really simple to do. I'm gonna go through the steps for doing that. Um, all we need to do is actually change the password for the uh, root directory, uh, or for, excuse me, for the root user. So we'll be doing that here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in sudo, and we're gonna yes type in su, as you can see I've done this once already. And this is going to bring up the uh, password for Kelly, which of course, if you, this is a new distribution, then your password's gonna be Kelly. And uh, so let's go ahead and hit enter for that. Now we have the root uh, Kelly is going to come up. And this is where um, you're going to type in this, which is P A S S W D. And once you've typed that in, what's going to happen is it's going to prompt you for your password, and then you'll actually type in whatever password you're going to change it to. So uh, we can go ahead and do this. So the new password, uh, we're going to type in, uh, I'm just going to, because this is a temporary thing, I'm going to go ahead and type in 123. Of course, you should make it more secure. Uh, and hit enter, and then retype the password. And it'll tell you that the password is updated successfully. Okay, once you've done that, we need to log out. And then log in as the root. So now we're gonna go into root and now our password, which is one, two, one, two, three in my case. And log in. Okay, and I have some code up here, which uh, I'm gonna close for right now so that we can uh, do some demonstrations. I'm gonna go ahead and close this too. Uh, and, and before I move forward, another thing that we need to do too is, um, so what I like to do all the time is I like to I like to uh, change my settings, my Windows settings. And so if you click on the little dragon here and then scroll down to settings um, and then display right here, the, your display options will come up. And this is where you set your settings. For my screen, um, I like to use uh, this is probably a little bit uh, a little bit too large. So I'm going to bring this down to 920 by 1200. And I'll apply that and close. Yes, I want to keep the configuration and close. And this gives me a little bit, uh, you can see I, I almost have it perfectly sized. I do have to scroll down a little bit if I want the full width or the full height. 
However, the other options don't quite fit my screen, so this is about the best I can do. Anyway, the, that's how you adjust your screen size so that you can maximize your, uh, your Kelly Linux view. All right, so now we're actually logged in as the Kelly Linux uh, root user. And uh, the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to change some settings on our Windows uh, side to make sure that it's ready for sharing the um, for sharing the um, the folder. Okay, so um, we're going to do that now. All right, so in on our Windows uh, desktop here, let's do a right click and we're going to create a new folder. And now, of course, you could do this. You could create this folder in any directory you want to. I'm just going to uh, create mine on the desktop just to, to, for simplicity. Okay, and I'm going to call mine uh, temp share because I don't want this one. <laughs> But not, not fully. All right, and once you've, you've named it, let's do a right click. And as soon as it comes up, we're gonna go to properties. And we have our temperature, let's do sharing. And here, of course, we can see our, our name. You're gonna to wanna to take note of this, the uh, Skynet, uh, the name of your system. And so let's go ahead and do the advanced sharing. And we're gonna share this system. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the name as, as uh, temp share. And we're going to go into permissions, and we want to allow everyone. And now you, you could tighten this up, but for for our purposes, we're just we're just going to, going to say everyone. We're going to allow for full control. And we're going to apply that. Okay, no issues there. And apply this, and okay. Now go to your security tab, and we need to add everyone to this. So let's click at it, and let's click add. Go ahead and just type in everyone. Check the name. Okay. And now make sure I'm clicked on everyone. And I'm just going to give full control. And uh, now that's good. Let's click apply. And okay. And now this uh, temp file has been set up. All right. So now let's go back to our command prompt here. And what we're going to want to do is go ahead and check uh, our permissions. And the way we do that is we type in net and user. And so our new share directory should be in here somewhere. And if not, then I did something wrong and I got to check on it. Let's see. Um, one thing to take note is uh, this is the name of our system. User accounts for Skynet. So at this point, you probably do want to take a, a couple of notes so that you're, um, so you have uh, what you need later for our code that we're going to need. So let's say Sky net which is the name of my system all right and i actually don't see my account uh, my new share directory listed here so give me a minute and double check uh, my settings okay so uh sorry I, I typed in net user and so this shows what i have for my net user account what i meant to type in was net share but that's okay so we'll just do that now and so here's our net share here's our share accounts and the new one is listed right here, temp share. And so that's good. That means it's set up correctly and uh, we're good to go. So I'm gonna move the, this part back out of the way. And the next thing we need to do is we need to check on our network settings. And so to do that, probably, I mean, there's so many different ways to do things. Probably the easiest way to do it is, is to go to settings right here. So what I did here is I just did a right click on the start and go to settings. And when settings come up, you can just go to the uh, network, let's see, where is it, the network and internet settings, um, I'm trying to. and then what you want to do when you get to this uh, menu is come down to the network and uh, sharing uh, center. And now what you want to do is you want to... Uh, Go to the change advanced uh, sharing settings. So right here, change advanced sharing settings. And when you get to that step, um, my stuff's already set up because I've done this before. So I'm just going to show you the settings that you need to have. On the uh, all networks public folder sharing, we want to turn on sharing so anyone, anyone with network access can read and write files to the public folders. We want to use 128-bit encryption. And down here on the password protected sharing, we want to turn that off. And that's uh, just so our, our stuff can work back and forth. Okay, so we, we do this. 
And uh, like I said, my settings are already listed, but so these are your options. These are the uh, options you need to have turned on or checked here, here, and here. All right, uh, like I said, mine are already done, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. Now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go into our Kali and uh, set things up on that side. So let me close out of this and out of this. And uh, like I said, I do keep some notes here. Um, let's go ahead and just, uh, I'll go ahead and just save that for right now. All right. Okay, so now back at Kelly, we're going to go ahead and log into our root. And now we're back here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open up our console. We've got our console opened up. And you can see we should be root at Kelly. Now, the next thing we want to do is, if you've loaded this, this will already come with the, um, the SIFS utils. But if you want to make sure that you have the latest one, you're going to want to do the sudo apt get and install, which um, you can see that, that mine's already installed. And uh, if you, like I said, if you install the latest distro, the distro, this will already be here. But you can double check it using this command, and what you should be looking for is this right here. You want it to be the newest version, and we're ready to go. All right, so uh, we're really, really close now. And uh, what we need to do is in here, we're going to need to create a, um, a, uh, a share directory in here. So, and you can see I have one of my older ones, but I'll be building a temp one. I, um, just to keep things simple, one of the things that I thought was a good idea was to name our shares on the uh, Windows machine and on Kelly Linux the same name, so that way uh, it's they're identical, and uh, I, I just think it makes things a little bit easier and more more uh, I just well just easier. All right, so give me one moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is double check. Okay, so this is temp share, and I'm just going to capture the name so I have it exactly. And let's go back to our. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to go ahead and, and create a folder. Of course, you could do this command line, but since I'm here, I'm just going to do it that way. And we create it, and there's our temp share. Okay, so now back on the command line, we have this, and now we're just going to do uh, some simple code. We're going to say mount, and um, one of the things that I noticed when I was looking at uh, um, adding this command right here is that it was best to use the actual IP address of your host machine versus the uh, the Skynet so uh, if we if we go back and we take a look at this this was Skynet but I think if you recall when we did the uh, let me pull this back up if we pull this back up and we do IP config here uh, you can see uh, let's see I'm on number six Uh, right here, IP address is uh, 192.168.1.2, and you probably in your notes should should make note of that. Um, IP is uh, 192.168.1.2, um, and uh, and mine's hard coded in, so like that's not going to change. Uh, if you're you know if you're using a Wi-Fi, it could change. So you you know it's something you're going to want to check on when you're uh, when you're doing this stuff. Okay, so let's go back to our, our distro. And so instead of using the Skynet, I went ahead and used the, uh, the IP address. Now, um, this, is, this is the command line right here. So this one here is saying we're gonna mount the, uh, the Skynet, which is this uh, dot two, and the VM share, which is, uh, which is this right here. And actually I need to change that, so I'm glad I caught that. That's temp share. So let's go back to here. And uh, on this one, we're going to do um, temp share. And if I okay, hello. Need to go back this way. Just type it in, I guess. Did I do it uppercase one moment? And this is where the no type in notes helps. Yep, I did. So, um, 
temp share. And let's go back here. And there it is, temp share. Okay. And on Kali Linux, it's also temp share. We use the same name. So let's go forward. And I'll explain all this here in a moment. All right. So we're going to mount the uh, Windows 192, which is the dot two. This is Windows IP address. Temp share, which is this one right here. And we're going to mount that with the root. Uh, we're, using, we're using the root Kelly temp share and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, set the user to Kelly and so this will mount that drive so let's go ahead and uh, do that and this password is whatever we used for the uh, for the root so uh, when we created our root one or the same password they used to log in here okay so we're good and that should be uh, good to go. Let's see. Um, next, uh, we're going to need to uh, now test our uh, test our uh, our uh, little uh, folder here, which I think we, sh we should be good to go. So one moment. Okay, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and uh, look in our temp share right now because we just created this. This folder is empty. So now um, we're going to close that, and we're going to go into the zip cracker py, which is a uh, one that I wrote earlier. And let's just say we want to throw all this stuff in here. So let's capture all of this, and we can use the send to, which is the easiest way to do it. And just say send to temp share. We can close this, and now if we look in our temp share on, in Kelly, the, the files are here. And if we were to go back to the uh, temp share here on our, on our Windows machine. We can open that up, and here's our three files. From here, we can copy onto our desktop, or we can open it up directly right here. We can say, okay, let's, let's take a look, and we're gonna open up our code, and there it is. So we have, uh, we have successfully shared files with, um, between Kelly Linux and our host Windows 10 machine. That is it. So uh, I hope that was uh, helpful. Happy coding.